Pomembno vodilo pri pripravi strateških usmeritev Slovenije za prehod v krožno gospodarstvo so odločitve, ki jih sprejme Evropska unija. Evropska komisija je Julija Lani predstavila svežen v krožnem gospodarstvu pod taktirko tedanjega komisarja za okolje Jana Zapotočnika. Nova komisija pod vodstvom Jean-Claude Junckerja se odločila, da ta svežen umakne in obljubila, da bo do konca leta pripravila novega, še ambicioznejšega. Pričakuje se v začetku decembra. Evropski komisar za okolje, maltežan Karmen Uvela, se je upravičil za odsotnost na konferenci. Saj je generalni direktorat za okolje prv zdaj sredi intenzivnih priprav tega novega predloga. Nagovoril pa nas bo povidel po snetku in razkril nekaj obrisov tega novega predloga, ki bo po njegovih zagotovilih ohranil ambiciozne cilje za odpadke, ter jih tesno povezal s pametnejšo rabo surovin in pametnejšim dizajnom, ki bo omogočal obnovo, ponovno uporabo in recikliranje proizvodov. Pa si poglejmo posnetek. Ladies and gentlemen, hello to you all in Slovenia. My message to you comes at a fortunate time. Right now, we are in the midst of shaping the new and the more ambitious circular economy package which the Commission will propose by the end of the year. This package aims to give a big boost to a Europe which is rich in skills but poor in resources. Therefore, we need to have a local European and a global response to our common challenge. And at the local level, I am very happy to say that Slovenia is leading the way. In just three years, from 2010, you went from 28% recycling to 61%. And we hope your example provides inspiration across Europe. How can we create sustainable growth and jobs now, which we can pass on to our children later? How will we find tomorrow the resources that we need? How can we use fewer resources more efficiently? The green economy, as it is sometimes called, is no longer a niche market. In Europe today, there are over 4 million people working for eco-industries, and the sector kept growing, employing more and more Europeans, even through the economic crisis. Currently, European businesses supply a third of the global market for green technologies, worth a trillion euro and expected to double by 2020. In the waste sector alone, implementing existing legislation will create over 400,000 new jobs and will increase the annual turnover of the waste sector by over 4.2 billion euro by the year 2020. Implementing higher Recycling targets would create in Europe another 200,000 additional jobs. In the Commission's new approach, an ambitious waste management policy based on clear targets goes hand in hand with smarter use of raw materials and with smarter design allowing products to be repaired, reused, recycled and then remanufactured once more. Some companies, like one Dutch carpet makers, recycle their raw material and keep their assets on the books. For the circular economy to work, this means developing markets for secondary raw materials. This means exploring all the instruments which could promote the transition to a fully circular economy. And this means the boosting of private investment and innovation in this sector. And, in this respect, the new European Fund for Strategic Investments will help finance a good number of circular economy projects. The new Commission proposal will maintain ambitious recycling goals and, at the same time, it will reflect better the specific needs of each country on waste management. We intend to help those lacking behind to reduce gaps in waste management across the Union. And I am optimistic that we can succeed rapidly.
some countries like yours have made huge steps in a very little time. Thank you all.